Inside this video right here, I'm gonna give you every single tip I know, every single insight I've learned from going from an EMT to a paramedic. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach here. I got an awesome video for you today on going from EMT to paramedic, but first, so important, make sure to watch this entire video. Stay tuned to the end of the video to get all the tips here. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Also, smash the like button down below, hit subscribe, tap that notification bell, and let's do this. Now for today's talk, I first wanna start by saying the difference between what you learned and what you do as an EMT versus what you do as a paramedic. And this is the start of our talk here. Now, with the EMT, that is more of a technician, where if I see this, I will do that. The way the EMT helps the medic is by surveying the scene while the paramedic is practicing as a clinical practitioner. And I'm gonna talk about what that means later on, okay? So that is the EMT level. We gotta make sure of everything while the paramedic is hyper-focusing on patient care, okay? Now, the paramedic, different. They are hyper-focused on clinical medicine of the patient at the advanced life support level. Now, that's a lot of, lot of stuff there. What that means is the paramedic is clinically thinking, critically thinking as well about patient care, it has a variety of options using the cardiology, the pharmacology, the ALS skills that are in his or her toolbox. Now, what I see with EMTs transitioning over to becoming paramedics and going to medic school is I want you to work on your patient assessments. A lot of people go into medic school and their patient assessment skills aren't strong. For example, Let's say we're trying to figure out the signs and symptoms of pulmonary embolism, cardiac tamponade, tension pneumothorax, asthma, congestive heart failure. I know it's a lot of stuff there, but understanding what those patients look like, what they're gonna even sound like, but lung sounds, all that kind of stuff, that's your patient assessment. You wanna work on that as much as you can. That is number one of the transition period that I want you to focus on when you're getting ready in the months and weeks, getting ready for medic school. Now at work, here's a quick tip for you. If you can, I'd love for you to start working ALS shifts with a paramedic. You can quiz them, go through meds, bounce ideas off them. Even if you're in a service where it's a fly car medic, if you can even get five to 10 minutes of time, hey, I got a question for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Hey, we just did that call. What were you thinking about that? Start to kind of grill the paramedics out there. I, I can't recommend that enough. Try to get in their brain. Also, here's what I want you to do. Obviously, you're acting as an EMT, so you have to, you know, that's your role in the ambulance right now. I want you to start thinking, if I was the paramedic right now, what might I do? Or what, start thinking more critically. What do I think is going on with this patient right now? What are two or three things that, I, I think is going on with this patient right now. That's gonna help you as well when you go from EMT to medic and day one of medic school. I'm gonna tell you right now what exactly the medic student usually struggles with. And here it is. Cardiology, it's pharmacology and drug cards. I cannot tell you how many times people fail out of medic school because of those things. For example, when I went to medic school, we had 32 people on day one. On day two, we had 30 people. At the end of the first semester, which was primarily a lot of that stuff, a lot of EKGs, a lot of cardiology stuff, a lot of drug cards, we were down to 14 people. It wasn't based on their willingness to, to learn. It was based on they just couldn't get that stuff down. So they either had to stay back a semester or they, they dropped out. I don't want it to be you. So if you can start to, to go through some of that content, I'm gonna talk about that later on, how to do that, then you're gonna be in a great place and 
you're literally going to be in the top 1% of people that are ready and prepared for paramedic school. You're going to be as prepared as you can possibly be going in on day one. Now, here is something that a lot of educators don't talk about. They focus on the schooling. I want to talk about something that is real and impacts everybody. A few months out from school, from your day one, I want you to start thinking about how is my lifestyle going to be different when I'm in medical school? Do my family and friends, are they going to understand that I'm in school and I need days off to be left alone, right? I also want you to designate one person in your life right now. It could be family, a friend, somebody. Hell, it could be a fellow student when you start in class. Designate one person that you know is going to be your lifeline when things get tough. Because no matter how great you do in medical school, there's going to be a tough time where you're overwhelmed or you're burnt out. It's bound to happen. It's going to happen. So you want to be prepared for that. No matter how great you are, it's going to happen. Now, the final tip I'm going to give to you is this. When things get tough, because they will get tough, this is rigorous schooling here of, of paramedic school, is this. I want you to remember why you got into EMS in the first place. Why do you want to be a paramedic? Why did you sign up for paramedic school in the first place? That kept me going when times got tough, when I got you know, overwhelmed, which I'm doing so much. I'm in the OR, I'm in clinical, I'm doing right, all this stuff, right? It's not that the schooling itself is so tough. It's that you are hit with so much to do in a short amount of time. And this is why my philosophy as the paramedic coach, please hear me on this, is you need to study before you start school for two reasons. Get your brain back in school mode so you don't get swept up and fail out. And number two, if you have an awareness level of the content before you go in, it's going to make school so much easier. I can say this till my mouth is just dry. It's true, okay? It is so true. So please take me up on this. I've created a video study course that takes care of all the prep work. There's no scouring the internet. There's no searching the internet. There's no looking through blogs. Everything is right here. I put together paramedic school prep, my paramedic accelerator that helps you through school and national registry, paramedic ride time secrets, on the job tips, every single drug card that you're going to encounter in school, help with prescription medications, and also all of that BLS review. Remember we talked about earlier with patient assessment. It's all in there to make you great at understanding those signs, symptoms. I've created the video study course. The link's in the description down below to have instant prep work done for you. I'm going to give you lifetime access to this program. If you click right now, my friends, I hope this video impacted you. Follow my tips here and you will become an outstanding, accomplished paramedic. I'll see you next time. Let's go. People that don't know you, they need, to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a have to. I went through it. I, I spent the time and money in other areas, and I'm, I'm just going to let you guys know that uh, this was everything I was searching for the whole time. The first couple of videos I watched, um, when I noticed it, it just I, I just immediately started connecting dots um, on some of these things I, I didn't have grasped. Just kept, oh, like everything that you were saying was just connecting all these all these you know links inside my brain. And I, I just knew right then and there, um, I have to have this program. I have to have all the information that he's willing to give. I need all of it. Then 9.30 um, on that Thursday, and that's when I found that I had passed my national registry paramedic. I felt like you taught it on a level that normal people can learn it versus instructors from a college. Trust them. I would say that they need to put all of their trust in you. People who are getting ready for paramedic school, or if you're getting ready to go in the Navy as a corpsman or as an Army medic, um, you got to prepare yourself. Evan, I know you got a program that helps people prepare that way. So bottom line is, guys, you don't ever want to hear something for the first time with a bunch of other students. So if you're in a competitive learning environment, 
you don't want to hear about AFib for the first time where everybody else, you want to have an understanding of it before you walk in the room. 